What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. It has been an absolutely insane week for Spider-Man 3 news, starting with the leak of that Latin American trailer last week, but stemming from even before that with the return of Jamie Foxx's Electro and the rumor that Alfred Molina was actually on set for Spider-Man 3, but no confirmation of Dr. Octopus. Well, today the doors were blown way off by multiple sources and different trusted Hollywood trades, confirming Alfred Molina as Dr. Octopus and a bunch of other returning cast from three generations of Spider-Man, as they put it. We're going to break down all the news, all the returning members that are confirmed, and yes, it's all the regulars that you could guess from both the original Tobey Maguire trilogy and the Andrew Garfield double up. We're going to break down everything, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away this insane one-fourth scale Beta Ray Bill, as well as our third and final Infinity Saga box set and a PlayStation 5. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. Make sure to hit the like button and hit the notification bell and if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so last week or the week before i believe it was the beginning of last week casey walsh over at geeks worldwide broke the rumor that alfred molina had been on set during the spider-man 3 beginning of production and although he couldn't confirm that it was dr octopus they hinted that's what was going on well today we got confirmation from the hollywood reporter confirming that alfred molina was indeed back as dr Dr. Octopus and put it as they did, tying together three generations of Spider-Man. Now, obviously, this is an enormous reveal, and if the Latin America trailer that leaked last week didn't prove that the Spider-Verse was coming, this definitely does. The original villain from Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 2, but that wasn't all. There are now brand new reports as well alongside this Alfred Molina report that returning will also be Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy as expected, and that Kirsten Dunst is confirmed for N J and Spider-Man 3 as well. Two more huge players coming back from both trilogies, really setting the stage now for the Spider-Verse in Spider-Man 3. But as if that wasn't enough, and remember I said in the prologue, multiple trusted industry insiders and multiple Hollywood trades coming from Collider, another one of the most trusted Hollywood trades, that not only are they bringing back Dr. Octopus, multiple Peter Parkers, that the amazing Andrew Garfield is confirmed to be returning as well. Now we're only waiting on confirmation of Tobey Maguire, and this is when you want to go back and look at all of those what looked like pseudo-fake reports over the last month and a half, mostly from places we don't report on and reports we didn't run here at the channel that Tobey Maguire was having a hard time coming back and hadn't quite signed, and the same with Andrew Garfield because of the way he was treated by Sony and the way his trilogy originally ended. Guys, there are tons of reports everywhere from we got this covered all the way down industry insiders Hollywood traders talking about the toil between Sony and these two actors coming back to reprise their role as Spider-Man of course you can't pull off a Spider-Verse unless you have one other and now that they've confirmed Andrew Garfield I think it's almost a sure shot alongside Alfred Molina and of course Kirsten Dunst that Tobey Maguire will be coming back as well you can't have his MJ and his original villain without that original Spider-Man which means for the most part, and confirmed now, Spider-Man 3 into the Spider-Verse is 100% a reality, and you have to give credit where credit's due, stemming all the way back to last year, immediately when the sharing rights agreement was up in September. There were original reports, as we reported on here, literally September 10th, about a live-action Spider-Verse being Sony's main goal, the thing that they were trying to achieve cinematically the most, not only getting their Venom-verse involved with the current Tom Holland Peter Parker, but canonizing their old Spider-Man movies into the now MCU continuity. And as we learned from Scott Derrickson, the original director on Doctor Strange 2, the guy who directed Doctor Strange 1, but then left for Sam Raimi for the second iteration, that all Spider-Men are de facto MCU. Apparently he had knowledge of this and that the original iterations we saw, Tobey Maguire and that original Spider-Man trilogy and the amazing Spider-Man's Andrew Garfield somehow, some way have a connection to this Tom Holland's Peter Parker and you have to imagine every executive over at Sony losing their mind. They finally did it. They are now canon to the MCU in every way possible and can go on to honestly do whatever they want regardless of the sharing agreement once they pull this off. 
Now, interestingly enough, as I've seen a lot of reaction over the last week, not only from the fan community and the audience here at the channel, but abroad, of course, on things like Reddit and the reactions to other people's comments and videos, people are not exactly as happy about this as I thought, or I should say, there are a group of people who didn't want to see this happen. And I've, of course, always maintained my skepticism when it comes to Sony. I think they have a knack for ruining what would be an otherwise good narrative and was very afraid that in this movie, they would try to cram too many elements together that bear very heavy lifting as far as backstory and explaining and take away from the narrative of Tom Holland who's wrapping up his first trilogy in the MCU. I'm not sure how they can do his story justice in the aftermath of losing Tony, where he was from far from home and unable to clear his name when you have the other two Spider-Men coming in and the multiverse being revealed. A lot of fans are going to want to know about specifically that and not what's going on with Tom Holland's Peter Parker, which I thought was super important for his character growth during this film. I've seen a lot of that sentiment mirrored. All I'll have to say is remember, this isn't a Sony production and distribution. This is a co-production and distribution with Marvel Studios. And Kevin Feige, who's been in charge of it the entire time, has found a way to keep these things steered clear and found a way to make this work. I know that that original Sony Disney sharing agreement must have been hard for them to iron out. And we also said back then that Sony must have had an enormous ask initially or Disney and Marvel Studios wouldn't have walked away from the table. But in retrospect, as soon as we heard about Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios reaching out to Hugh Jackman to come back as Wolverine, reaching out to Sir Patrick Stewart, and then having those two actors confirm that, we all knew where this was headed, using the multiverse to canonize every Marvel Cinematic Universe that came before the MCU. And why wouldn't you include the two Sony Spider-Verses? Now that they've got their way, Sony has a door wide open in case they can't use Tom Holland, in case they can't figure out a continuity that makes sense to bring back one of these other Spider-Men and cross them over into their Venomverse to fight Morbius and Venom, which we also now know is in the MCU pseudo. And I'm guessing that that little post credit scene we saw with Adrian Toomes Vulture from Michael Keaton at the end of Morbius is also going to get explained. As I mentioned, if Sony couldn't help themselves from putting that cameo in the very first Morbius trailer, they're going to go full bore now trying to explain everything that they've got the Spider-Verse involved with the MCU. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. How hype are you? Are you one of the people who actually didn't want to see this happen? And what are your worries? Or if you're like me and giddy like a school kid, how excited are you for the prospect of what Spider-Man 3 is turning out to be? I am all ears and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away this insane one fourth scale beta ray bill and our third and final Infinity Saga box set this month regardless of the subscriber count. And we've now added a PlayStation 5 at 800,000 subscribers. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button button, then leave a comment down below, and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Then make sure to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on to keep up with the channel, and of course, as always, if you enjoyed this video and the rest of the videos at the channel, we'd all appreciate it, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. My name's Michael Roman, you can find me over on Instagram at I am fires or over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Novellan. There's links down in the description to both. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys, and stick around. We'll be updating you real, real soon.